Hello and welcome to my first Blender tutorial. Uh, today we're going to uh, show a technique uh, for getting a, a lathing effect in Blender for Second Life Sculptees. Since you cannot use the, uh, the spin option uh, in Blender to do lathing, uh, this is how I achieve the same effect uh, using a Second Life sculpted image. First thing I do is load a, a reference image and from the view menu, background image, load, and then select our reference image. In this case, we're going to use a light bulb. And then uh, close that window and uh, space, add, sculpt mesh, and choose cylinder. Then we need to uh, uh, scale on the z-axis and make it about the same size as our image. And then scale again on uh, and hit shift z to constrain to the x and y axis and scale it up to the size of the image. That way, have, we have, that way we have a round tube, and then in the uh, editing uh, button, in the editing panels, under modifiers, uh, kick the levels up to 3, and apply the subsurf. Tab into edit mode, hit A to deselect all, Z to go into wireframe mode, then hit B and select the top ring of edges. S for scale, 0, and then enter, and that will close off the uh, top of the cylinder. Then uh, select the second row, B, select the second row, hit S for scale, shift and Z to constrain along X and Y and scale it down to your reference image. Now I'm just looking along the, the right hand side. You can use the left hand side if you want. But uh, I'm only really paying attention to the one side. Uh, if your cylinder is properly centered, it'll come out exactly the same. If not, don't worry. You're following the one side. The other side will come out OK. Uh, a to deselect. B, select the next row. S for scale, shift Z, scale down to our reference, and repeat the process. This is the tedious part, and I'm going to go kind of quick here because we're under a time uh, limit. Scale, shift Z, A, B, select, scale, shift Z. And I'm going to pause the video here so that uh, I can finish this off and show you what it looks like at the end, and then we'll load it into Second Life. Okay, uh, I continue down to the uh, bottom of the object, and I'm just going to do the last couple of rows here. Again, uh, select the, uh, the row, S for scale, Shift Z to constrain to X and Y match to your reference image and then down at the bottom here I'm going to grab the last row S for scale 0 enter and there we go if we uh, go back into object mode and take a look at it uh, you can see it's not 100% perfect because I kind of went fast uh, the more, more time you take on it the better it will come out but uh, that's the basic image, and or object rather. And let's split the view, bring up the image editor, select the object, and bake it. Okay, and there's our our uh, 
make uh, image. Let's save that out. And we'll call this bulb test four and save the image. Okay, now that uh, I'm in Second Life, I can create a new object. Go into the Object tab, make it sculpted, File, Upload, Image, Upload the image. And then drag the image into the sculpt. Scale it up. And you'll see it's a little funky. Uh, from experimentation, I found if I go 2 to 1, or I'm sorry, 2 to 3, so two meters on X and Y, and then three meters on Z. That gives you a fairly good representation. And there it is. I uh, hope this was helpful. And uh, that's it.